either time to go to bed or go to church. <laughs> what are we going to do today? We're going to go to bed. to bed. He's hung over. In the deep, dark basement. Oh, it looks like a perfect place to hang yourself. Holy jeez. That's kind of crazy. Uh -huh. That's all I thought when I when I came down here was a noose. Well, I'm surprised that they actually have a bed down here too. Ooh. It's not a it's not a bad looking basement. Not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Where's the TVs at? Where's the TVs? Playboy what do we magazines. Got here? Oh my gosh! Yeah. One out of four in Delray Hollow. Sweet. I wonder if we can look at them. <laughs> Check that out in another episode. Definitely got to kind of check out our surroundings a little bit to see exactly where we're sleeping. And I'm sure there's all kinds of creepy spiders down here. The type that are poisonous. And they bite you. There's snakes. You will get a nasty bump. Can we knock over the, the barrels? Some are those kegs? Do you think those are kegs? Probably. We're in a bar. Probably full of whiskey barrels or moonshine. Time to get some good old shut eye. The graffiti on the wall is pretty cool. I like that artwork. Got Father it's Gatsby a mural. over there. Not oh, graffiti. Yeah. It's a mural. <laughs> oh, we oh, just had a night terror. Night terrors. Let's sleep with our boots on. Our feet gonna be stank. All right, Mr. Sammy and Ellis. What's in that nice little safe right there? That's what I want to know. And I really want to know what was our decision to actually go down in the basement for? Probably that way people attack the place. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we pay for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to... I'm not wanting you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Gone. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times oh, when he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the mayor. Put the Mother Mary in the background. That's cool. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay and help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. I like the little the the narrative in between the cutscenes. Yeah. It kind of progresses the story in a really nice way. I just hope Lincoln is not dead. <laughs> I hope his father is not dead. He's talking I hope his father about... doesn't get killed. Us as if we're either dead or on the run. The most likely. Right. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best situation. for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. 
serve the gumbo. gumbo. Okay. Let's find the gumbo to the right. serve. Down the right there. Oh yeah. Okay, I got you. Gibson, Here you go, guys. Yes, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Next. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, shell. That shell. Do I got to do it to each one? I suppose. If they each one want food. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't see the button come. Good morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It's in the bottom corner. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessing's mine, ma'am. Come on, days back, and they already got you working? Of course. I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. The lady's got the froze. Mm -hmm. She's not going to say, she's not gonna say nothing. Shit, shit. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. <laughs> nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Regine. Oh, what? You going with you, Lincoln? Oh, no, the Asians are dead. Oh, my He's gosh. Eat the ground by Adam. Vault cover, okay. I just want to go Watch out! Watch out. Face me. Goodbye, Mr. Haitian. I'm right fucking here. Oh, the blood's not you. Goodbye, Mr. Haitian. Oh, he's got gun. Bro. Oh. No, no, no. Get back, Jack. Drugs. Oh. Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern like United the States. Now, mixed in a little with bit, huh? hard working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Come on, Daddy. Tell me everything. Six, sir. Seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Velour started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Nice. But do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. 
Alright, soldier boy. Let's just follow your leaders. Be careful here. Yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. Why are they messing with us, though? Just because? I'm not 100%. 100% sure yet. Because they want our territory, maybe? It's a turf war. Now let us know, guys, if you already know about this. Is this a turf war, or what's going on exactly with the Haitians? Did we miss something? Started oh, people. snap those little cool fan boats. You sure this is how you want to play this? Never Last going thing to they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. You say, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. Oh. Straight swimming to the dock. We're gonna get eaten by a gator. Watch out for the gators. We're gonna get leeches on our nethers. I like the whole setting in here. This is cool, man. How many men we send in? Two teams. One's gonna hit the bar. The other's gonna gonna get trench foot. Stalking. Stalk your enemies and avoid their attention. Enemy awareness is shown by the white indicator in the center of the screen. Get too close or make noise and the enemy awareness indicator will expand and they'll come looking for you. When you're stalking, you'll make less noise and stay out of an enemy's line of sight. While enemies are looking for you, stay in cover. When they stop looking, the enemy awareness indicator will disappear. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get Sammy, we doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man's dead. Him, Ellis, and the other one. Lincoln Clay. He's the one. This time you won't get away from us. Why they wanna kill us? Oh, come on over, bro. Come on over. Come on over. Fuck your mind. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Throw him in the water. Get this gun first. Uh oh, he sees us. Oh man. You don't know what he sees. Was he not just here? We keep looking till we find him. Time to look elsewhere. Told you. Oh, he just jumped in the water. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we gotta stay, we gotta stay. He swims like he's drowning. Oh, Gator! Oh, Gator! Gator got you! Oh my gosh, I can't believe there are actually really for real gators. You better get out of there. Get out of there, get out of there. 